Uh, everybody came in at 35 seconds. Hello, uh, my name is Tremaine White, runs at Township High School, class 2010. Uh, Smart Jocks helped my game a lot because of the hard work and conditioning that we have to go through every weekend. Coach Ted pushes you to get better, and if you're not working hard, definitely keep pushing 24-7. And without, without hard work, you're not going to get any better. If you cheat, sooner or later it's going to show up in games or whatever you do, it's going to show up. As you see, we out here on the track, we're working hard every Sunday. It's hot out here, and we're still getting conditioned in My name is Coach Ted Davis, Jr., President of Smart Jocks, LLC. Today, we're going to do a conditioning workout out here at Cooper River on Memorial Day because we always work out on the national holiday. But today we're going to simply do 200 yard sprints in approximately 35 seconds. I'm gonna give them a little extra rest. Instead of doing three seconds or 30 seconds rest, I'm gonna give them two minutes rest in between each interval. And we're gonna do eight uh, sets. stuff like this that people don't want to do. There are four kids out here today. And there are at least about four, four to five others that are supposed to be out here. It's 10 o'clock in the morning on a holiday weekend. Kids don't come. You know, the first complaint is going to be it was too early. Second complaint is going to be it was too hot. Third complaint is going to be I didn't have a ride. And we used to walk everywhere or ride a bike or run. And the drive just isn't there. It's, it's obviously a generation gap, but the, the drive just is not there. The importance of uh, off-season conditioning, I actually learned from coaches like Coach John Calipari and Coach Bruce Flint when they were both at the University of Massachusetts. Uh, Coach Calipari instituted, I believe, the infamous 2020s, which are wind sprints. You have a certain amount of rest, which is not much, and then you have to repeat the wind sprint in a certain amount of time, 20 times. Um, I started having my athletes do that in the off season and even sometimes during the season to improve their conditioning from what I saw from them up, up at the University of Massachusetts. Uh, they also carried that uh, importance of the 2020s and uh, strength training and so forth and so on. When Coach Flynn was at UMass and Coach Pal Calipari was at Memphis and I'm quite sure uh, Cal Coach Calipari does it now when he's in Kentucky and I know Coach Flynn does it now since he's been at Drexel for a number of years. But in addition to that, I also work on different types of sprints, 200 yard sprints, 100 yard sprints, 400 yard sprints, uh, leg lifts, the abdominals, push-ups, square push-ups, and I also get into light weight lifting. Uh, I don't necessarily believe in the heavy weight lifting because uh, people have, have a tendency to get stiff and they may lose some speed if they lift too heavy and then you're also bringing in the injury factor, especially for the athletes that are not college age. My name is Penny Young. I'm currently a senior now. The Smart Jocks program has helped me tremendously academically and exercise-wise. Coach Ted has been a great mentor toward me in learning how to be a better basketball player. We're here at the track. It only makes sense for us to talk about a very good friend of mine and a person that actually does a lot of speed work for the athletes when he has the time for uh, Smart Jocks LLC. Coach Greg Arnett, 
uh, coach of Woodrow Wilson High School, head track coach, was that guy when it comes to track. Uh, some of the workouts that we do, I've actually gotten from him, and I've also gotten them from Ms. Shimon Arline as well as made them up myself. And it never ceases to amaze me when I do some of these workouts, in particular with Greg, how he had been doing these workouts since he was nine years old. And uh, being the athlete that he actually was, being able to run a quarter mile, 440 yards, 400 meters in 57 seconds at age 11 is absolutely tremendous. Uh, being able to run a 47 second quarter uh, in high school, again, is absolutely tremendous. Winning six state championships in high school and a national championship, being a six time collegiate All-American in college, uh, actually being recruited by a Big Ten school for track, being that you were going to school for free for track, uh, which is not the norm, uh, it means that you were just a phenomenal athlete. And for Greg Arnett to be a part of this program, uh, for Greg Arnett to actually give back to Woodrow Wilson, where he came from, and push his athletes to at least be close to what uh, he was, is a tremendous testimony of his character and uh, what actually he feels about the youth of today. Uh, see, Kevin, Vic, Greg, all of them did great things in college. Right. Right? Greg did as well. Right? But Greg was six-time All-American. Right? right. Plus, he coached himself.